hopping in here, the Kraken versus Kyra Torvald, Abe, and Sonny. We got a lot of speed on this team with Sonny and Kyra boosting the team around. Not that Torvald has to get up close. All he's got to do is sit back, toss those mortars in, and deal a serious amount of damage. And, of course, Abe, not going to like these guys stealthing around the map. So those tracking darts, once that goes in, it's hard to lose. And very typical feeding route. I've seen Aurora Symphony play. And he's going to go down the river to start things off. Actually, not going straight for the Blitz Leopards. Cutting back around here. Going more towards the cave and near Larry the Sloth. I believe that's the name. I don't know why he took this route. He went all the way around. He could have just gone straight across the bridge right there. He just went all the way around and grabbed that one meat. Probably to uh, throw them a off bit a bit. Time. Do like a Maybe. false route. Kind of awesome. say, hey, I'm going down this way. And then not actually. Uh, one thing to Let's note, though, is before. the skill build is one Lightning, one Banshee, one Vortex. Which just means that stage one... He's looking for Vortex and Banshee for farm and Lightning Strike just in case he gets caught, right? But you'll probably yeah. see Stage 2, he's either going to invest all three in Lightning Strike or he's going to finish Lightning and put an extra point in Vortex. Those are the two builds that I'd guess. Or the other possibility, he could do them what many did, which is where he went two points into Lightning, got one point in Aftershock, and still made it work with a ridiculously small Aftershock radius. He was able to get through that power. But if we look at the Hunter team, we look at what they're able to do with the perks. We got Mini on Capacity, which makes sense for Trollog because these are the extra mortars and extra shotgun. We have Reload on both Kyra and Sunny, which means that they're both going to have their jetpacks and their accelerates at the maximum intervals. And we have Move Speed on Dead Rebirth, which means they want none of the stealth shenanigans. They want to be catching him all day and all night. And everything he sees is just monsters in domes, inside and not outside. And it looks like Aurora Symphony, already ready for the stage, took a very atypical feeding route going into the caves to start things off here and not actually going down to the beach. Still a very fast feed, and he is taking the stage in the cave right here. Mini moving in, going to want to land some mortars directly on his head before he finishes evolving, and that is a stage two crack and two Banshees, two Aftershock. Oh, this and one dome is so crack. tight. Lightning's coming down, and we got a two-point Aftershock, two-point Banshee. Here comes the Aftershock connecting on Mini, driving him down. Dead Rebirth getting Vortex into the corner. Cerber Soul getting eaten up on the high ground, having to use his jetpack there, getting all those mortars in Aurora's face, going already through the armor. One bar down. Here comes the drop, and it connects on hurt. Jesus. Jesus eats it, gets smited by the Kraken God as they're in the tunnel. Here comes the lightning, connects on none of them as they all dodge it at the last second. Cerberus is looking to dodge, barely living, using the accelerated vortex being thrown, dodges that, uses the heal burst, cloak being used to keep Cerberus alive. Does get the stealth bounce, connects on Jesus though, not Cerberus. Jesus protecting everyone as they're at half health on Aurora Symphony. Lightning being thrown backwards, connects on Rebirth, almost taking down Jesus as he's going to need to be healed down. up. He's getting low. Everyone's lo getting low. The battle royale has begun. Here comes the next Aftershock dropping down. Doesn't oh, connect with Cerberus. Nope. That would have caused him some serious pain and possibly a medic down if he followed up with a heavy strike. Cerberus is super low right now. He's got to start healing himself up. And I'm not sure where that shield drone is. That thing keeps getting destroyed. Put back up. Destroyed. Put back up. Aftershock coming in on. Cerberus has got to dodge that. And that is medic down. But the thing is, I'm not sure who's going to come out of this one alive. Are they both going to bail out both parties and get Kyra up? Or is one team going to finish off the other? Kyra's down out of the game, but Roar Symphony doesn't have much health either. Down to his last two bars of health. Are they going to be able to get Kyra up, or are they going to drop the Kraken? Oh, the, the mortars! So, oh, I felt that Mini. one from the caster's desk. Mini that CP part. coming in with the mortars, getting rid of that bar of health. He's down to under one bar of health as he's on the run from this Hunter team. Rebirth is on with the movement speed, getting boosted by Jesus. Everything's being done to try and get this damage. He's down to one bar, trying to get chip damage safe. Not quite able to, and he gets interrupted immediately, not allowed to feed. You can't eat in this world. This is their dome. As he's just on the run from this Fuck Hunter team. Space. The dart is in. They're going to know exactly where he's going, and they know he's hurting. He's hurting right now. Aurora Symphony needed to eliminate the Medic. The Medic was down, but he let them get the res. Not to mention, Mini got that solid mortar barrage right in the Kraken's back. There was no way to miss that. It was point blank in a cave, just directly into the Kraken. And the dome is back up and online. Wow, that felt a lot shorter than it usually is, but that was a solid 17, 70 seconds. Stealth Pound's going up on Dead Rebirth. The Pounce going to cause a serious amount of damage to him. If he can manage to drop Dead Rebirth right here, Aurora Symphony can make a comeback. Dead Rebirth looking pretty low. That Shield Drone is online, though. He's got to hit this Lightning Strike, and he's able to leave. That was a clutch Lightning Strike from Aurora Symphony right there, and he is ducking out of the situation. That's a highlight for this TGL Season 3 trailer. Dead Rebirth is Shock down and used at long right distance. Now. Breaks line of sight. Barely keeps himself using the stealth pounce to get as much distance as possible. Minis in hot pursuit. Jesus is going to go for the long distance artillery. Not quite able to get it. Cerberus is going up for the pickup though. And right now he's just trying he to get a pickup. Left? He has he one HP. Minis quickly interrupting. This is the hunt of from Mini. 
This is the hunt for the dead Kraken from Red October, aka Mini. And we're going through, he's got a little bit of armor now, he's up to three, almost three bars of armor. He's, he's going through trying to live, he's halfway on the Evolve meter, he's got so much time left stage two, just trying to survive. Kraken was so far 100% ban rate up until this game, now being shown that he can be hunted by JSMS as they are ready to fight the Kraken, release it from its cage, and they will come in and just slaughter it as they've shown. If it was any less of a Kraken other than Aurora Symphony, he'd be dead right now. Oh yeah, I am... If anyone can come back from this one, it's going to be Aurora Symphony, but it's going to be a tough fight. Thank, thank, thank Jesus. There's not a... I think Jesus is actually the one making the picks as well. Was he? No, that was Sir Brew in the Steam chat. But thank Jesus Crow isn't on the field, even though <laughs> Sir Brew was the one making the picks. Because so thanks, Sonny. Thank Crow Jesus. on the field. Just drop him right out of the air. Such a satisfying thing to do. In a tiebreaker final game to be playing Crow and take a charge shot and drop him right out of the air. Mazel would know what it feels like, right? Yeah, he's sorry, trying to take the shot. Dead Rebirth, however, going to get connected with the Lightning. Going to be dropping it down. Doesn't connect his jetpack. Comes out from Sunny. Keeping him alive. Dead Rebirth getting low, though. Cerber is trying to get the heals out, doing what he can. Aurora Symphony is exceptionally low right now. I don't know if he can stay in this much longer. He's trying to get those pickoffs. Mortars don't clear, though. And he's going to get hit by it, which means it's going to be a drop. Aftershock coming down on Rebirth. Going to connect. Here comes the get Vortex. The down goes Rebirth. Dead Rebirth down. Amazing play by Aurora Symphony right there. That's another one for the TGL Season 3. The Pika Taylor with the Thunder! Strike. Speak of thunder coming strike. down. From long range. How in the world? He's got to duck out, though. Once they break his armor, he's dropping to the floor dead. Or Symphony to take this one back. If he hits stage three, he can absolutely do it. Two down penalties on the trapper and one on the medic. This is ridiculous right now. The, the chat is blowing up. The hype is real in the TGL open bracket. Week one finals, ladies and gentlemen, if this is any showing for what the rest of TGL is going to be like, you're going to want to keep your face glued to your Twitch screen because this is ridiculous right now. Aurora Symphony almost full armor once again, and Dead Rebirth can be sent straight back to the dropship. Aurora Symphony just got to do that one more time. Here He's comes the hit blast. Face three. Doesn't get it, He's going though. early. He's going in early. Dead Rebirth super low right now. Kyra land the healing nades, girl. Lightning does connect on Mini right there. Mini's looking pretty low. Dead Rebirth not looking so hot either. They get the heal burst in there. Oh, down goes Mini! Down goes down mini. The, shield. the shield whiff. Whiff that shield so hard right there. Serbru is Here comes so the lightning. And the right peak now. of thunder comes down and clears medic up the dies. medic. Assault is in. Only Assault and Medic are down, which means that Rebirth is going to be looking to revive some of his teammates as he's on the run, but he's not able to help much. But Jesus is going to be able to quit the three-day revivals and get him up instantaneously. He's going to eat the corpse of Rebirth for some armor. He's getting ready to go back in. Minnie's up with one strike. Cerberus is up with two. Jesus doesn't have a strike. The so only impressive. one without strikes. Here comes the Aftershock. Why do this? This is, this is so unbelievably aggressive. He has no health left, but he does take out the Medic. Is he going to come back? Aurora Symphony, the legend, is literally fighting Jesus right now with a stealth bounce, a shield drone, though, protecting Jesus. Aftershot goes in and does destroy it. Jesus jumping down into the river. Mini has one HP left as well. Can he return the favor and escape with one HP? And, oh, oh my god. god. He waited for the jetpack to come out so he knew where he was. Mini is on the run with one HP. A Reaver on the chase. If that Reaver connects, that is a dead Mini. He is, no, be... he is not Mini dead. He is full dead. That Reaver can't steal the glory from Aurora Symphony. Aurora Symphony escaped with one HP and survived. Mini's going to escape with one HP and survive. And this is going to go down to a stage three throwdown with everyone on the field extremely injured. How one so? down penalty on Sunny, one on Mini, two on the Medic, and two on the Trapper. And not to mention the Kraken's got almost no health left. How upset would you be if he died to a plant? Oh, man, I don't... I... I don't even know. I, I don't even know how. Oh my god, Mini's, Mini's in position. If Mini can go in, if Mini can get the artillery, he's, he's dead. Next to the relay. Uh, what if, in the world are you doing? Around? This is the ballsiest evolve I've ever seen in my life. If Mini I, I, got in position and went in for it. Hype, like, if Mini went in got what? position for the artilleries, that'd be a dead Aurora Symphony because he would have had the 35% yeah. extra damage. All he had to do was land yeah, one mortar during the cone. But Mini is so low right now. Like, he could have got dropped by a Reaver. He could have got dropped like a, by a plant, like you said. One of those Palatipus is down there. The, the dropship coming in three seconds. The relay getting beat down. He's only got 20 seconds to make the save. Okay. Mini needs to survive. Although, 
Now he can interrupt still. it though, because his teammate is dropping. He needs to interrupt at this point, which is probably what he's going to go for, and he's going to go for the interrupt now. And we're looking at Aurora Symphony just getting interrupted. However, he does know where Mini is. Banshee Mine's being tossed. Everything's being thrown long distance, and down goes Mini, which means he has time until the team gets there to either Why clean up the body or the that's relay. The that's his second shield whiff this game. And going in with the Aftershock, he's probably going to try to eat Mini. Now, the thing is, Aurora is really, really low right now, so they might not need Mini to take the W. Abe is a really great damage dealer, along with Sunny and Sunny's nukes. Don't let him eat. It's down to centimeters right now in the finals, ladies and gentlemen. Aftershock coming in hot. That's going to connect on Dead Rebirth, and the dome is going to go down. Is Aurora simply going to stay and juke it out? Sunny needs to nuke this monster before the monster nukes them. Medic out. It's a 1v1 situation. Jesus versus Aurora Symphony. Can Aurora Symphony literally kill Jesus in a 1v1? He's going for the power relay, though. Is he going to manage to finish it off? Or is Jesus barrel stuffing him with that nuke right there, pushing him back with the vortex? Jesus under the tentacles of the Kraken. And Aurora Symphony comes back from one of the clutchest games I've ever seen since. Take the shot. Aurora Symphony literally killed Jesus. Take the shot. And he took the shot on Jesus. What in the world just happened right there from the brink of death? Hey, Sue's coming in with the fight right at the end with the mini nuke. We see right now, we're looking at the health of Aurora Symphony. Exceptionally low damage done. By the way, his total HP is 1,300. He survived with 52. You're, you're correct. You're correct. He survived with 52 HP left. That is a Chironade and a half. He survived yeah, literally with a Chironade and a half. Ta hashtag take the shot, hashtag save Jesus, ladies and gentlemen. Let let it be known, one of the greatest battles of all time. First, th first there was nymphs take the shot, and second there was hashtag save Jesus, and Jesus could not save us. <laughs>